Okay, hi guys. What I did was I placed your part in here. Naturally, I can't hold it the way that you would. You're going to have to have your device in the indexer to turn this part. But what I did is I put it about where you would probably want to have it. And I wrote a quick program. Just four drill. See, event two is another drill. Event three is event four. When I look, I can see one, two, three, four drill events. And I thought that it would be cool if we actually ran it in the same way that you would without the indexer. I'll uh, I'll leave this. I'll leave this on so you can see it. I'm gonna hit the run button. Start. I don't have it actually drilling. I have it placed above the holes. You can see it's doing variable pecs at each hole instance. At the end of the part, it rises to the top again and it goes off. What you could do is if you wanted to, I didn't do it, is you can add in a program event at the end, such as position. So you could say position, and you can position it at the last thing as it comes to the front, so you can just pull it right off. It's easy to do. So that's it. And before I shut down the machine, I want to take this tool out, so I thought I would use this opportunity to show you the tool changer, automatic tool changer. We're going to put that tool away. Set up, load tools. There's the tools. Tool into the ATC, tool number two. It asks, are we sure the tool spot is empty? That's a real good safety. We say yes and hit go. It places the tool in the holder. And that's it. Close the door. Tool's ready to shut down.